more proud of our team. Um, we had a plan coming into this game, and uh, our guys, as usual, and they followed the plan to perfection. Um, Yale is a team that plays, they're an explosive team that plays with a tremendous amount of energy. And uh, our game plan was, was to uh, rope and dope our way through the first two periods. And uh, we really felt that they, they just can't go like that. Nobody can play like that for three periods without tiring. And uh, uh, we, we figured that they would lose their, uh, their energy, uh, they, they'd lose a, um, uh, they would just peter out a little bit and they, in the third period. And uh, uh, we took their shots and we got some bounces. And uh, we got to that third period, and all of a sudden, in the th it, it started. The worm started to turn, and uh, all of a sudden, we were the ones um, with the legs. And uh, 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 I thought we had uh, uh, we had the better of the legs in the third period. I thought we had the better of the legs in the overtime. And uh, you know, they're a great team. They have some great players, and uh, they made a play in us uh, a second effort play, um, and it went in. Um, and uh, you know, sometimes. Uh, so, you know, like I said, the guys followed our plan uh, uh, to the letter and, and uh, you know, sometimes life isn't fair. I better get used to it. Um, this ain't a juice box league. Um, a win or go home. And uh, it didn't go our way tonight, but uh, I couldn't, uh, uh, I just couldn't be more proud of, 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 our, of our boys. And, and I really believe uh, we come out here and play a lot. There's fine people out here um, in the Bridgeport area. And uh, I can't imagine that, uh, that all, all the fans in the stands, the Yale fans, uh, aren't leaving here. Um, they're happy their team won, but leaving here with, with, uh, with, with some respect for the effort that our, our team put forth. Questions for the Air Force student athletes? Jacques, how, go ahead. Oh, oh. No, can't go ahead. Jacques, how crushing is it to come so close once again? You guys seem to always take these things to overtime in the NCAAs. And well, I just, I mean, I think just our coaches do a great job getting us prepared to play, and we do a good job executing the game plan. And uh, like the coach said, we, we had them where we wanted them. We had the legs and the overtime there and into the third period, and we had our chances. And uh, you know, hats off to Yale and just, uh, their goaltender Rondo. I mean, he stepped in for him this year, and uh, he proved why he's uh, getting the accolades he he's gotten um, by shutting the door on us. And you know, Yale's the number one team in the country for a reason. Um, they can win games like that, and uh, they, they got the balance, and we didn't. It's, it's, it's tough. I haven't really quite sunk in yet, but uh, it's tough to yeah, have it in like that. Uh, actually, for, for both uh, Jacques and Trump, uh talk a little bit about what the differences were between the Yale team you played tonight and the team that you, you played back in, in the fall out of the Springs. Uh, well, first off, you know, in the Springs, you got a little bit of a hometown advantage. Uh, they're coming to high altitude, which is hard for any team from the East Coast and sea level to come play at. And, uh, you know, we kind of had an element of surprise there too, which uh, which was nice. I don't think they were expecting us to come out as hard as we did in, in the Springs area. Uh, you know, it kind of changed, changed shoes out here. Uh, now we're in their, their hometown pretty much. I mean, the crowd was very much Yale-based. Uh, you know, so we're playing in their hometown and, you know, they came out with a lot of firepower and, uh, you know, it, Unfortunately, it didn't end up, end up the way we wanted it to. And for uh, for, for Jacques, you transferred to, to Air Force, and you know you wanted uh, the Air Force hockey experience. Did you think it would be you know what it would have turned out to be? Uh, two NCAA tournaments, the, the the Hobie Baker nomination a couple of years ago. Can you reflect on? I know it's still fresh, but can you reflect? On? I don't know, it's it's one of those things where I I wanted what Air Force had to offer beyond beyond hockey and. Like Sean and I will graduate here in a couple of months, and we're going to serve our country. And we're going to do it proudly, and and that's something I wanted to do. And um, it, you know, the individual stuff. I, mean, I never would have thought it would have went that way. I, I thought I could come here and have a little bit of success, but not the type of success that I was fortunate to have. And I'm thankful I had, you know, Coach put a lot of trust in me and confidence in me uh, from day one to put me in those types of opportunities. And you know, some of the great players I was fortunate to play with, uh, I was able to make the most of them. And it's. It's tough to see it all come to an end, but I I'm, couldn't have asked for, uh, for it to go any other way. Yeah, you mentioned having a lot of ropes in the th third period and overtime. What, what do you think in the locker room for the overtime period? What, what do you guys have to do? We, we just wanted to keep doing what we were doing, just keep skating, keep taking away the rush offense, and um, you know keep banging on the D. And 
you know, we were able early on overtime there. We were able to get a couple odd man breaks and get some chances toward, to the net. But uh, like I said, Rondo shut the door on us, and yeah, he was up to the task. And when they got their bounce, they made the most of it. And it's I think we just want to keep doing what we've been doing, and, and we thought uh, that things would go in our favor. Um, but uh, that's hockey, and you know, it's uh, they're the best team in the country. And when you're the best team in the country, you uh, you get those bounces.